Tom Holland, but as Spider-Man, because that is my favorite superhero. I would definitely take Melissa McCarthy with me to prom because I know it would not be boring at all. She would be cracking the best jokes. If I could take anybody to prom, it would be Joe. Um, honestly, that list goes on and on and on and on. It would be Jennifer Aniston. It would be Jesus because, I mean, imagine the conversation that we could have. I know he'd pay for dinner. I know he'd treat me right. I could check out and see if he has any cool dance moves and who knows, he might even be taller than me. It would be my boyfriend. I would take Justin Bieber. It would probably be Chris Evans because Captain America, duh. Troy Bolton from High School Musical. Probably Lauren Daigle. She has a great voice and she loves Jesus. It would be Natalie Portman and I would ask her to dress as Padme Amidala from Star Wars Attack of the Clones either Millie Bobby Brown or Zendaya because they're just my two biggest celebrity crushes. Maybe even Tyler. Do you need to build an ark? Because I know a guy. Did you hear about the cheese that saved the world? It was legendary. <laughs> a blind guy walked into a bar. <laughs> Atheism is a nonprofit organization. That's it. I have a fear of speed bumps, but I'm slowly getting over it. Ha! 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 Whenever um, they ask if you paid half price for your ripped jeans, um, and that one's my favorite because they'll ask it to you every time you're wearing them. What's the difference between a crocodile or an alligator? One you'll see later and one you'll see after a while. Why do cripples go to the gym so they can work out their relationship? Very funny. Mm -hmm. I can't really think of one, but maybe like when they mow the lawn and then they stand there and look at it and they're like, nice. <laughs> I don't know. I used to have a fear of hurdles, but I got over it. <laughs> Why do bananas wear pajamas? They didn't, they wouldn't be very appealing. What do you call a man in a pile of leaves? What? Russell. <laughs> My wife sent me to the store to pick up six cans of Sprite. And when I got home, I realized I picked seven up instead. <laughs> so cringy, I know. But... Uh, this is one of life's most important questions, I think. Cereal is not a soup at all. Soup and cereal, are they the same? Well, let me tell you why they aren't, in my opinion. No, cereal is definitely not a soup. I would consider cereal a soup because you have the liquid and the solids in it, so it's kind of really similar. It's just kind of cool, so. It's pretty much the same thing. Cereal is not a soup because a soup is defined as a broth that's boiled with meat or vegetables. No, I wouldn't say that cereal is a soup because not very often when my mom says we're having soup for dinner does she serve me Reese's Puffs. I don't know who is saying it's a soup, but you can eat cereal dry. Soup is warmed up in a broth and cereal is cold with, it's just not a soup. Definitely not, it's cereal, duh. And I've never really thought of it as that, but I guess in like technical terms, it could be. So yes, it is a soup. No, it's not a soup, it's just cereal. That's the best way I can put it. Cereal is meant to be enjoyed cold. Soup is meant to be enjoyed I do not think that cereal is soup. I consider cereal to be its own category of food, just like a hot dog is not a sandwich. And unless you're adding some meat and vegetables to your morning cereal, I suggest just sticking with calling it a soup. Definitely not. Soup is something that you enjoy in the winter time, and cereal is something that you have in the morning, obviously, for like breakfast. And soup does not contain milk in it, so and that has no milk, it's not a soup. Yes, you have a liquid and you have a solid. You mix them together. Soup, yes. No, that's not what it is. Cereal, cereal soup is soup. 
two different things. And yes, it's a soup. If you wanna come debate me after the service, come find me and I'll give you all the reasons as to why it's a soup. Get involved and go to the trips, go to youth group, go to Wednesday nights, um, and you're gonna have these friendships for a lifetime. Be yourself. You can't please everyone. You don't wanna please everyone. Go get friends right off the bat because they're just as nervous as you are, so just introduce yourself and go have fun. Honestly, just stay true to yourself um, and just know that nothing's impossible uh, with God. Uh, don't take the time for granted. You have youth. Um, it goes by quick, so make sure you get lots of memories and make lots of friends. So I would say to just show up and be consistent and keep seeking God and engaging in His community, no matter if other people choose not to. And don't doubt what God will do whenever you continue to show up and continue to seek Him get involved in everything like do all the sports get involved in all the clubs just get involved in everything and the reason i say that is because the more things you get involved in means the more like field trips and meetings you'll have to attend which means you'll get to miss more class so that's why you should get involved in everything i would think that probably to check the expiration dates on the lunch and the milk and stuff because they usually give it out expired to just have fun and do as much as you can with what little time you have be nice to everyone because you never know what someone's going through and just don't stop in the middle of the hallway. Have an open mind, always uh, laugh, and sometimes give Mike a pat on the back because he needs it every once in a while. They need to get out of their comfort zone in high school and try to find new things that they like to do. Just be yourself because there's going to be a lot of people in high school who try to get you to do different things, but you just be you. Don't listen to anybody else. You do what you want to do and what makes you happy.